even into adulthood, I did not know uh, that I was oh, the UPS guys here, which means my dogs are gonna be barking. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Olivia and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. As I mentioned, my name is Olivia. I'm 26 years old, I'm from San Diego, California, and I am autistic. And here at my channel, I try to make videos bringing awareness to females and adults on the autism spectrum. If this is content you think that you would enjoy, I would super appreciate a like and subscribe. It really means so much to have your support. Uh, if you're not new here, thanks so much for tuning back in. I appreciate your endless support endlessly. Um, I'm sorry that I've been MIA for a while. I know I said that I had some videos uh, planned to come out while I was um, in Italy. That didn't happen. Um, I was a little ambitious. I ended up having too much to do um, before I left, so I couldn't get those videos out. So I do apologize. This week's video, I'm doing it completely freestyle. I have no notes, so we'll see how this goes. I may be babbling, but I just am gonna do it on my trip to Italy and kind of how Italy is my happy place, it's my second home, and how, um, I think I'm gonna title this video, uh, How Italy Cures My Autism. Um, and like, don't freak out, obviously, I know there's no curing autism, but um, I'll explain it a little later uh, in the video. Before I jump into today's video, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is once again, Skillshare. If you don't know what they are, they're an online learning community, and basically it's just a great way to learn uh, new skills or up your skill level in a skill you already know. And this this is my third course I've taken with them and I really do love it. This week I did it on how to make a fresh floral arbor with bloom culture flowers by Allison Fleck because as I said, I'm getting married and I wanna make my own flower arrangements. I've left a link down below in the description box and the first thousand people to click on that will get a free month trial of Skillshare. Okay, I don't, I've decided I don't know what the point of this video is other than just kind of giving you a life update uh, and sharing my trip with you guys and um, you know pictures and, and stuff from the trip and just letting you know I guess that Italy I feel like lessens my autism traits. The main reason uh, for going was obviously to enjoy Italy but to also look for a wedding venue location for Alex and me because we have decided that we're going to get married in Italy which also a lot I think I said that in my community post and some of you said um, that they like oh there's a ring on your finger or something like that um, and they didn't know that uh, or you guys didn't know that I was engaged so um, I, I think I did post about it and maybe mention it in a video, but if you don't know, back in uh, February, Alex proposed to me after a swift seven and a half <laughs> years of dating. Anyways, as I was saying, we have decided to get married in Italy and we've decided that for a couple of reasons. One, it's way less expensive to get married there than to get married uh, at least in Southern California. I'm not sure about the rest of the United States, but I still think it's pretty expensive because my mom recently went to a wedding in Pennsylvania, in some small town in Pennsylvania for a cousin and they said they paid like like $35,000 or something ridiculous. Um, and Alex and I, like we just, we're not party people and we can't stomach spending that much on just a one day event. We would rather like spend money on putting a down payment on a house or adding to our car collection, which is gaining its sixth car in a couple of months. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad habit with the cars. If you have spent that much money or more money on your wedding, that's absolutely fine. Like I'm not trying to bash anybody that wants a big giant wedding and spends a bunch of money. So that's one of the main reasons we've decided to get married in Italy is because it's a, a lot less expensive. And um, because I, it, we haven't picked Italy just for a random reason. I actually partially grew up in Italy, which I'm not sure I've mentioned in any of my videos. Maybe I did in my first videos. 
I can't remember. Anyways, um, so if you're unaware, which I think you are, I grew up partly in a tiny town in uh, northern Italy in the Piemonte region of Italy. Uh, my first trip over there was when I was four and we went over there a lot and spent a lot of time there while I was growing up because my dad's um, business was partially based over there. It's definitely my second home. Obviously, I've known it since pretty much I can remember. And it's just a very, very special place. It's a place that has always made me very calm. And obviously it was unbeknownst to me that I was autistic until this trip because it's been three and a half years since I've been there. I haven't been there since before COVID. It's so unlike the United States. And I think it's so important for people from any country, but I think specifically the US to experience different cultures and different countries because they're they're so different and it just gives you a different perspective. So I feel so blessed to have been able to experience a different culture growing up. We still have our same apartment there uh, that we go to. Um, and so it's very nostalgic because, you know, I grew up partially in that in that apartment and it's just I know I keep repeating myself, but it's just my happy place. I love Italy. I feel so connected to it. I'm not sure like why? Because I'm 0% Italian. People are always like, oh, you're Italian? And I'm like, no, literally I'm 0% Italian. I am German and I am Lebanese. Those are my my things. I am 0% Italian. Uh, pretend I'm Italian, but I am 0% Italian. <laughs> I think Italy has always made me feel calmer and less anxious because at least in my opinion and where I live, people seem to enjoy life more. My mom, growing up, I, I used to remember her telling people that when we get to Italy, it was like stepping off of a treadmill going as fast, you know, as it could. Like life in America, you know, we're, we're so obsessed with like, you know, our, our careers and everything. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think oftentimes we're so busy and um, just, you know, uh, overloaded with work and stressful things and all this stuff that we forget to actually take the time to enjoy life every day. And it seems like when I'm in Italy, um, people do that. <laughs> um, people seem to, you know, really take the time to enjoy life. Obviously they take a giant break in the middle of the day, every day uh, to, you know, it, they're just not, it doesn't seem like they're so obsessive with work to the point of like, you're killing yourself. Like in America, it seems like, um, uh, again, this is just my opinion. Um, I could be completely wrong. And um, maybe uh, in some parts of Italy, it could be completely different. I don't know. I'm just speaking from my little town uh, in, in my experience, but, be because of this, I feel less anxious. I don't feel the pressure of needing to do certain things. I feel like I have ample amount of free time to unload and not get overwhelmed and not have to mask constantly. All these things that take away my spoons, if you know the spoon theory, um, where as in America, you know, I wake up and like, I'm already anxious right off the bat. And, uh, you know, my day is full of things and I really have no motivation a lot of times to do stuff. But in Italy, even as a kid, obviously I wasn't working as a kid, but it just like, it just seemed like people were mellower and, you know, just, happier and it just really rubbed off on me because it's something that has stuck with me my you know my whole life uh, up until now and um because of that i love going to italy because i feel like i i, I don't wake up with constant anxiety choking anxiety and choking dread on what i have to do that day you know going out is not a task. I enjoy going out there. I don't really mask as much there. I have less meltdowns there. Um, you know, I I don't have stomach issues there because the food is so much better. Um, you know, it's fresh food. They don't have all the preservatives. It's not as processed like in America. I mean, I'm, not to try to get on a tangent, but like the food here is awful and it's it's like it would be banned in Italy and a lot of other countries, the stuff they put in our food here. And um, 
obviously a lot of autistic people have food issues, um, food sensitivities, um, and just uh, stomach issues from, you know, maybe picky eating uh, or whatever it is. And I'm definitely one of those people, but in Italy, all I do is eat carbs all day long. <laughs> Cookies, bread, ice cream, pizza, pasta, like literally like my dream food group <laughs> of carbs. It's like all I eat. That's why it's the perfect spot for me too, because literally all I eat here are those same things. But when I eat them in Italy, I have no stomach problems. So going back to like this trip specifically, it was Alex's first time ever going. And I was so excited because I got to show him, you know, a place that is so, so special to me. And you know, he's so nonchalant so I was worried that like he was gonna irritate me because he wasn't gonna be as excited as like I wanted him to be um but, but no he was very excited um but this is his first time like leaving the country so it was like a big deal for him and he had a great time and uh it was just really awesome again getting to show him where I partially grew up and all meet all of my friends uh and like my my family over there and obviously getting to go look for places where we're gonna get married we saw so many places I have no idea how we're going to pick one because they were all amazing period but then they were all amazing in different ways too it's like there wasn't like one where I'm like oh I hated that place or one where it's like oh, I love I love that place so much more than all the other places like there it's I like we literally made like a pros and cons list but I still have no idea how we're gonna choose and then on top of that I'm autistic so I'm indecisive and I can't make a decision to save my life so I really don't know I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna choose. I um, had almost a meltdown or like kind of like a mini meltdown and I haven't had a meltdown in a long time so I just wanted to share this um, because as well, one of the reasons I wanted to get diagnosed with autism is so that I could understand how my brain works and learn about it so that I could prevent you know um, situations that could cause me more stress and more meltdowns and stuff like that and just learn what my stressors and my triggers are and I think I really have um, and you know it's taken a while but I I'm getting really good at being like self-aware and realizing like what in my surroundings or in the situation or whatever is causing me to go towards a meltdown so this one night it was one of our last nights there actually and so I was and, and like this was a busy trip because every day we were looking at a wedding venue. So there was really like no downtime. And I, I do obviously need to be alone and take naps, which I didn't really get to do. So I was slightly, you know, uh, um, burnt out a little bit. Um, but what ha and I was hungry, which, you know, I get hangry, <laughs> which is never good. But what was happening is we were at a restaurant in our town and it was a, it was a brand new restaurant in our town. We hadn't been to it yet. And there was something that I wanted to do after dinner. But this dinner was taking very long. Like They hadn't come and taken our order yet. And we had been there like an hour already. And so it seemed like there was no end in sight. And people kept coming into the restaurant that had been out smoking, which is the one thing I don't like about Italy is like everybody smokes. I was honestly horrified this time because it seemed like there was more more smoking than ever before. Um, and it's like, you'd think that less and less people would be smoking as you know, it, it's a proven fact that smoking is so terrible for you. Um, yet it seemed like more and more people were smoking, younger and younger people were smoking. Um, so it was honestly in all of the many, many times I've been there from for the past 22 years, 23 years, this was the most smoking I've ever seen in 2022 which is scary. So people kept coming in and out of this restaurant uh, for smoke breaks and it's like was very potent, um, which was weird because uh, normally, I I've never had this experience in a restaurant before. Like obviously when we first started going there and I was a kid, you could still smoke in restaurants. So that was like a nightmare um, for me. Um, but uh, you know, in the many, many trips since, you know, if you're inside, you usually don't smell the smoke. But for some reason, this restaurant, how it was set up, like you smelled it a lot. And so between being kind of burnt out, um, you know, hungry, and then this smell overwhelming my senses, I was heading towards meltdown. I was getting very fidgety. Um, and for the first time ever, I felt um, like the need to like, like, 
I've always felt like when I'm in a meltdown, like I wanna get out of my skin. I've kind of described it in my meltdown video that I'll link above, but this time, I actually felt like being more physical, like I was like shaking, like trying to get like all this energy out of me, which uh, I know a lot of people uh, experience when they have meltdowns, but I've never personally experienced it, but this time I did. And uh, Alex, you know, I ended up getting up, taking a walk with Alex, um, and I was able to not have a meltdown, um, but I sure came close, <laughs> but um, it, I just was kind of proud of myself that I was um, under, un that I was able to identify what was bugging me, which was I was hungry. So me and him took a walk. We went back to our house. I got a snack so that I could eat something. Um, and the smoke smell was bothering me. So I got out of that environment that was bothering me. And I was just able to get some fresh air, get some food in me, um, be, be alone. Basically, Alex kind of counts as alone because for some reason it's a literal miracle from God that he doesn't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know he's the one. <laughs> okay, well, that is it for me today. I promise next week my video will be uh, more uh, informative because that's usually my goal in these videos and I don't think this one's very informative. So I do apologize. Um, but anyways, thanks guys. Um, I appreciate all your support. We have 50,000 followers or subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I, I really do appreciate the support endlessly. Um, so uh, I hope you have a great blessed week and I will see you soon.